Hi everyone, as the new cross-platform beta of Sprayer draws near, I've been thinking a lot about what Sprayer 1.0 will mean for me. I think most of us already understand how Sprayer will offer many workflow improvements for artists and allow for more optimized use of file and memory space for games, as well as offering a wonderful visual way of editing gameplay-related data such as variables, spawning points, and collision rectangles. I think for a lot of us, however, the full impact that Spriter and professionally animated game art packs will have on game making in general hasn't really become obvious, so here's a quick rundown of the things that I'm most excited about. 1. Programmers and game designers can work without waiting. No more bottlenecks in development as designers and programmers are forced to wait for required characters or effect animations before they can program the new features. With Spriter, a programmer can hit the ground running with an art pack right out of the box, quickly creating placeholder animations as needed, and then hire a professional artist to customize the art and product-specific animations at their leisure. This makes for much faster, less stressful, and far more affordable game development. 2. Affordability of original art. As I touched on a second ago, because a huge amount of the art and animation work will already be done for you out of the box, now instead of the need to hire an artist to work for many months of full-time work to create all the animations from scratch, you'll only need a few days worth of work to customize and perfect the art and animations for your specific needs. Furthermore, those who have some artistic ability will have a much easier time simply editing pre-created body part images than trying to create all the art and animations from scratch. Spriter and professionally created art packs are going to ensure the best looking games for all game developers, whether or not they decide to hire a pro artist. 3. Flake proof art development. If you have your artist start by designing the characters and making the key body part images, it will be very easy for any other artist to take over the project if the original artist flakes. Most of the work would simply be creating animations from art the first artist had already created. This will ensure the look of your game remains professional and cohesive no matter how many artists end up working on it before you publish. 4. Easier for multiple artists to work together. As touched on a second ago, Spriter and Art Packs will not only allow for better results from serial contract artists, but also will allow for multiple artists to work simultaneously on the same project with ease. With the ability to work separately, but while sharing the same pool of body part images and the ability to merge sprite files whenever the need arises. 5. Originality. I know it might surprise you that pre-created art packs can lead to originality, but here are the facts. Because Spriter and art packs will allow for faster and more cost-effective game development all around, and will practically eliminate the issue of paying artists to create art and animations that end up on the cutting room floor, this will mean that every project will have more time and budget left to focus on the things that make their game play and look unique. The out-of-the-box art and animations are not the end, they are a springboard. It will be incredibly easy for game artists to add subtle nuances, tweak, or totally change the flavor of the pre-existing animations and art. And Spider will make it really easy for an artist to create whole new custom animations too. 6. A revolutionary new market for third-party artists and studios. Artists will no longer need to wait for a contract to produce profitable game art, and soon many indie game makers will start to make Spriter art pack creation a part of the equation for their game production. If you have to create a set of animations for your game anyway, why not turn that into additional income and release the animations as a commercially available art pack once your game is published? and no need to worry about other people making games that look like yours. Just a day or two of replacing the actual body part images and all of your time creating the actual animations can be monetized. 7. Even non-animators can create companion art packs with replacement body part images, effects, etc. Because the animation work will have already been done by professionals, even artists with no experience animating can change the body part images to create fully animated and completely original game art, either for use in a game or to release as a companion art pack. 8. A new and healthy market for companion environment art packs. This huge increase in the ability for aspiring game makers to create games with professional looking and moving characters and effects will create a huge demand for environments to match. The buzz is already beginning in the game artist community, and such environment art packs are already underway. 
9. A whole new outlet for aspiring game artists to get into the industry and make a name for themselves. Thanks to Spryder, it will be drastically easier for talented artists to break into the industry and show their stuff to the entire game making community. I hope you find these prospects as exciting as I do. Spryder has only just begun. You're about to witness the butterfly wings that create a hurricane. Stay tuned.